It's been a very busy day so far. We have a tornado warning in place for our northeastern corner of the state through 530 tonight. This has been a terrible storm. Started out down close to Fort Morgan, chugging its way now up this way. So we've seen some really large hail, damaging winds, and there's been some debris uh, in some areas. So this will continue to make its way up into parts of Wyoming, into Nebraska. I should say more Nebraska than Wyoming, but this will continue uh, for the next half hour or so. But it is slowly making its way out. It just keeps regenerating and getting more steam with that storm. Heading into the Denver area, the tornado warning that we did have in place between Brighton and Hudson, that's expired. But now we do have a severe thunderstorm warning in place through 545. You can see a good line of storms uh, from just north of Hudson, to close to Greeley, all the way up towards Briggsdale. These are producing some large hail, a lot of lightning, and some really Really intense rainfall. So just be extra careful if you're in these areas uh, or just to the east of it. Get indoors because these are definitely coming your way. A little wider look across the state right now. We do have scattered thunderstorms from the northwest to the southwest. Heavy snow near Telluride right now. And our weather watcher Wendy lives in the Peets area, which is where that tornado warning is right now. She said the bigger storm is traveling along Highway 138 towards Isleff and Julesburg. So there uh, it's kind of left her area right now, but that warning is still in place for her area. We do have a tornado watch in place for the Denver area out towards the eastern plains through 9 o'clock tonight. So it is still possible that we get some bigger thunderstorms and maybe even still some isolated tornadoes through the evening hours. Now we were really under the bullseye today for severe weather and that area in northeastern Colorado certainly got it. Tomorrow's storms do not look to be severe, but we get a lot of questions. What makes a severe storm? You have to have wind gusts over 58 miles an hour and uh, you have to have hail that's an inch or larger in diameter and then funnel clouds or tornadoes indicated. So that's what the requirements are for severe uh, 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 storm watches and warnings and of course tornado warnings too. Taking a look at our future cast for tonight we're going to continue to see some storms. They do move on out by midnight tonight. There could be some scattered showers across the front range snow in parts of the high country and we could even have some heavy rainfall tomorrow morning for the front range into northeastern Colorado with snow to the southwest and we'll continue to see that rain through lunchtime and then well into the afternoon and evening with heavy snowfall expected in many mountain areas and again this is wet sloppy snow coming our way and we'll continue to see that even into the evening hours. We do have winter weather advisories in place for parts of the central mountains down to the southwest could see four to eight inches. Zooming on in here a bit to the front range mountain areas, winter park, you may see nine to 14 inches of snow while most other areas about five to 10. Yes, we are still talking about winter weather advisories. Right now, 65 in Denver, 63 in Greeley, 70s out east, close to 90 in the southeastern areas, uh, 30s, 40s, even some 50s in the mountains. And uh, for your current temperatures downtown, 66 degrees. 69 earlier today out at DIA and downtown, so obviously running below average, but still plenty of energy to make those thunderstorms possible. 46 in Akron and Ray tonight, 42 in Denver, 20s even in parts of the high country, low 30s. And tomorrow we are fairly chilly. 53 in Denver, 50 in Greeley, 60s, 70s out east. And again, tomorrow's storms don't look to be severe, but there could be some wet weather pretty much all day. Then 59 on Wednesday, chance for a few isolated storms, little warmer by Thursday, and then isolated storm chance chances possible on Friday and Saturday. Kind of a nice spring forecast you got mm. there. All right, Lauren, thank you.